I was recently asked by someone if Affinity Photo had a feature like Adobe Lightroom to help find dust spots. If you're not familiar with how this works, let me demonstrate with this photo, which has a few dust spots in the sky. Because the sky is so dark, it's difficult to see these. But if we go to the Remove tool in Lightroom, there's an option to visualise spots. When I tick this, it shows only the edges in the image. There's then a slider which adjusts the sensitivity of the detection if the image is dark, like this one. We now see some circular dots in the sky on the right, so let's zoom in on the area. If I turn off the Visualize Spots option, you can see that there are indeed some faint dust spots. Unfortunately, Affinity Photo doesn't have this feature. But there are a couple of ways we can use to find dust spots that are otherwise almost invisible and easy to miss. Both methods use the Live Filter layers and work with all images, which is best really depends on the image, so you may need to try both of these. You could even create a macro to automate adding the layers to make life easy. The first method to try uses the High Pass Filter. If I click the Layer menu and select the Live Filter submenu, we can see the different filters. You'll find the High Pass Filter in the Sharpen group. When I select this, the filter is added as a new layer, which turns the image grey. If we look at the Layer Studio panel, you can see the filter has been attached to the image layer. But we don't want that. Instead, we want the filter to sit as the top layer above the image, so I need to move it. I can do this by clicking and dragging using my mouse. Now some Affinity Photo users may find the filter is automatically added as the top layer, and you don't need to move it. This behaviour is controlled in the Assistant Preferences, which you can access by clicking the Assistant icon in the toolbar. Notice the option for Filters? When it's set to Add Filter based on Selection, the filter is attached to the selected layer. Setting it to add the filter as a new layer means it's added above the selected layer. Let's close that now and go back to the task of finding the sensor dust spots in this image. To do that, I just need to change the blend mode of the high pass layer to be linear light. This is a contrast enhancing blend mode and when combined with the high pass filter creates a sharpening effect. Now I can increase the high pass radius slider to reveal the dust spots. Let's hide that now and I'll show you the second method before showing you how to make the repair. This time I'll add an unsharp mask layer. As before, click the layer menu and choose the Live Filter Layer submenu. You will find the Unsharp Mask filter in the Sharpening group. Again, if this is attached to your image layer, click and drag to reposition it above the layer. Now increase the Radius slider and the Factor slider to their maximum values. This then highlights the dust spots in the sky, allowing us to fix them. Affinity Photo has several tools we can use to remove the dust spots, but I'm going to use the in-painting brush. I can select this in the Tools panel on the left. If you can't see it, it's grouped with a few other tools, so one of those might be visible instead. Pressing J on your keyboard will select the active tool in that group, making it easy to see. You can then expand the group by clicking the Group icon and holding down the mouse button. After a short delay, the other tools in the group are displayed. You can then select the in-painting brush. The next step is to add a new empty layer to the image. You can do this by clicking the New Layer icon in the Layers Studio panel. This is the layer that we will make our repair on to remove the sensor dust spots. It needs to be positioned above the image layer, but below the unsharp mask or high pass layers. This will allow us to keep the layer used to highlight the dust spots visible while we make our repair. We then need to set which layers will be used by the in-painting brush to make this repair. You can see the options in the toolbar drop-down when the brush is selected. Rather than the current layer, we want to use the current layer and below. This means that the layers above our repair layer are going to be ignored. Watch as I paint over the dust spot. All I need to do is click and hold the mouse button to start. Then I continue holding down the mouse button while I paint over the spot. You can see what's being selected by the brush as I paint because of the red overlay. 
When I release the mouse button, the in-painting brush covers the spot and makes the repair. If I now hide the layer used to show the dust spots, you can see that the sky looks clear. And because I created the repair on a separate layer, I can hide the layer to reveal the dust spots again. Now you know how easy it is to find and remove simple dust spots, how about removing unwanted people from an image using Affinity Photo? If you want to know three easy ways to do that, watch this video next. Thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you soon for another video.